yeah I went ahead and did the second row and then I um, I thread in all the beads the O beads here so this is a bigger hole the only problem you will face is sometimes your cord will not go through the um, I mean the bead will not go through the cord that means you can just take a small thing like candle and then just um, uh, melt the edge and then you will find the beads will go very nicely inside the thread once it's melted so I went ahead and I strung the beads in a different format for me the challenge was this OB has a, a wider um, side to it right so if it is a seed bead it will sit perfectly in all of these so because it's an OB and it needs some space so anyways you will have to leave the last cord the leftmost cord and the rightmost cord you need to leave you should not thread any beads and then from the next cord I have thread in beads in each of the cord except for the green so we have four uh, color C cords in the middle after the second row we'll have that so I did only in the middle and then I left the next two but all other cords have beads in it so I hope it makes sense and then take the leftmost cord now and that's your holding cord in the next cord you take the rightmost and then you can actually pin your work so that it doesn't move that much and now there you go you have this and then um, do the same knots as if there is no bead just uh, ignore the beads and then just do the knots one and this is the second one so that knot will capture the bead and then the next cord and put the bead all the way up here let me this is wherein you will need your um, pins that will give you stability and then now you move this hold the holding cord like this and then do the knotting cord and then one more time over and under So that one is done the next one over and under over and under that one is done then the gray cord comes over and under over and under that's done then here the cords are kind of overlapping but this is the cord that doesn't have any bead in it over and under and over and under and then this one right here over and under over and under there you go now we will do the left side Thread in all the beads close to your knots. Take the leftmost bead, I mean leftmost cord, and then keep it as your holding cord. And then take this one and then knot it over and under. 
once you do that take a pin and then pin it over there so that your uh, cord doesn't move anywhere so the next one is the orange cord you push the bead all the way over and then have the holding cord and then go over and under and over and under now that will trap the bead for you then the next one over and under so I did one mistake here if you guys can see here there is only one knot of the green so I have to take all of these knots and fix that if you can see there's two knots of the green right here the color C so if you make a mistake it's no big deal you just um, take off the knots it's a little tough to take it but it's possible to take it one more of this knot which I forgot and then do the bead over and under next gray cord no the orange cord so you need to be careful of the cord coming in between and tangling so I need to follow the order this knot is come out this didn't come out properly this is the holding cord and I'm just going to go over and under. I think I didn't do the over and under, under properly. Yep. Now it's fine. Now one more time. Over and under. Now the gray cord. Push the bead up. Over and under. Over and under one more time and then this cord which doesn't have any beads in it but still um, we have to make the knots over and under you can add your beads here you can add beads in every single uh, strand or every two strands you can um, add one bead that's also totally up to you it's just my design this bead worked out this way so that's why I'm doing like that so over and under and over and under so i'm almost done with that one so i'm still holding this cord and i'm just gonna do i'm holding my right cord as a holding cord and the left holding cord from that side i'm doing one more knot to make that kind of a u so there we go There you go, it formed the U. You can also do one more of this so that the 
things are uniform now we have this all you need to do is attach this bead i would suggest you take the cords and then melt the ends with your tea light um, candle so you can use a thread zapper if you want to um, and then take your bead which is a bigger hole obviously and then try to put them through putting one cord is not a big deal it goes very nicely only the second cord needs to go through that's the tough part and see it doesn't go through so let me try the other bead this one right here so it's better to put one thread across inside the bead and then hold it tightly like this and then thread in the other one I have both my cords threaded and then I'm pulling it all the way over there. Oops. Right there. And then I'm just gonna make an overhand knot over here. After the bead. I'm just gonna make a overhand knot. And make sure that you push everything ahead and keep now I'll teach you guys how to cut off all of these things and then finish up with a thread zapper <laughs> 